So I am talking with Serena De Jesus, and we are talking about her recent signing to Invicta, um, a multi-fight deal. How do you feel? I'm so excited. Oh, my God. It's been a long fucking road getting here. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So can you uh, describe the emotions to me whenever you first got this call that this might be happening? So I basically ran through my house. Um, I cried. I was smiling. <laughs> my friends and family thought I finally had a psychotic break, but no, it was good news. And I told them and they were all happy for me. So it's been a long time because my last fight was uh, April of last year. And then I had my injury mm -hmm. that yeah. I recovered from, but you know, I've been training ever since I recovered. So it finally happened. It's right. been it's been awesome. And I'm just so happy it's finally going down. Yeah, that's awesome. So who was the first person you called? So I called my mom, called my dad. I just told her, I, and they're like, normally I don't call them this late at night, but then I did. I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. They're like freaking out because they know how hard I've been working, you know, ever since my amateur MMA days just to get to Invicta. So wow. they're really happy for me. And, you know, my dad being the old grunt he is, he's all shouting who well on the phone and everything. So <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your journey. So it's mm -hmm. been, it feels like it's been a long time coming for you to finally get this, this deal. How are you, how has that journey been for you personally? I mean, every fighter's journey is ups and downs and I don't feel like mine has been so different. Um, I'm five and two in my amateur career. I had my, my pro debut last year and I won that. And then I got injured right after my pro debut when I was helping other people in their camps and whatnot. And I didn't know I was injured till honestly last August where yeah. I finally figured out that something was wrong with um, my shoulder and I had, and I didn't get surgery till November of last year. So mm -hmm. going through that rehab, going, having the one, form of therapy for me taken away basically it sucked I was crying I was depressed all throughout my rehab but I really like you know I just worked hard because I wanted to get back and as soon as I got back I got back into shape like pretty fast and yeah. have been non-stop on the grind just waiting yeah. how long was the rehab after the, the, the rehab was about three months okay. um so yeah it was just three months but it felt longer it honestly felt like a prison sentence yeah. You know, you can only do so much with like, so, you know, so much of your body, but, um, thankfully my strength and conditioning coach Lorenzo recognized like, Hey, you know, you have one part of your body that can't work. Why don't use your legs? It's like, yeah. And it's improved <laughs> it's like, a lot of stuff. It's improved. Yeah. It's like improved my footwork. He's improved every aspect of my, and I feel more like everything as a whole has grown because of that. So it made me not as depressed, gave me something to look forward to and, it's paid off. So I'm excited to show it. So what does it mean to you to have this platform with Invicta to be able to um, further your cause for fighting for autism? I think it's a perfect platform because there's like eyes worldwide because it's on UFC Fight Pass. Mm -hmm. Everyone around the world can see it. And honestly, we need more autistic, you know, positive role models. Um, we have Greta. Um, I'm going to space on her last name. She's um, the one who's like, talking about global warming and you you see people bullying the 16 right. year old child you know and saying oh she's autistic that you know in in a way to not take her seriously about things she's talking about and i don't like that so i'm using my platform to show that autistic people can come from all walks of life and just because we're autistic doesn't mean we can't be you know an athlete we can't be outspoken about something important to us so this is huge for me and I just want to keep being the positive role model I can be. Yeah. That's awesome. Especially like showing not to discredit people just because of autism. It's just something else that is part of uh, the uniqueness of being a person. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So are there any special people you would like to think on this journey to finally being signed? Um, I'd like to thank my coach, John Wood. Um, he's been with me ever since my second amateur MMA fight. Um, I'd like to thank him. I'd like to thank my teammates, Roxanne Mataferi, Jesslyn Michelle, um, Jojo Calder Calderwood. I mean, she's been great. 
um, just all my training partners at Syndicate. I'd like to thank my family as well, my mom, my dad, my siblings. They've always been in my corner ever since even my first little Muay Thai bouts and from like little rinky dink field houses to Sands Casinos, all sorts. They've been always there. They've always done what they could to see me fight no matter where they were in the country. So that means a lot. And I want to thank all my friends and fans who've been supporting me because now we're here. We've made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, okay. Is there a message you would like to send directly to your fans? We made it. It's going to be great, everybody. You know, all your pestering for, you know, to Invicta that decide me. We got this. So I'm going to train my ass off, you know, and try and make y'all proud. Yeah. Uh, we are so excited to see you fight and to see you rock your Serena Southpaw unknown MMA gear. And I, I love that design that we, we worked on together. I think it's really It's cool. the dopest. Yeah. So we will make sure to put a link below so people can buy that and support you for your first fight. And congratulations. I want to say personally, congratulations. I was so excited when you texted me about this. So I cannot wait for everybody to see you fight on the big stage. I can't wait to show off what I've, what I've gotten so far and just be proud. Great. Okay. Thank you, Serena. Um, we will talk soon whenever we get your fight announcement out. <laughs> will do. Thank okay. you for having me on. Of course. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised motherfuckers. I'd be shocked if this fight went the distance. Unknown, unknown. unknown MMA. Everything you don't know about MMA.